Welcome back. We have everything from in-state college enrollment and a picket line restraining order to Nick Saban's birthday and Kyle Wright's World Series debut. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. For the fifth academic year in a row, Auburn University was the top four-year school destination for in-state undergrads, reports AL.com's Ramsey Archibald. 14,200 in-state undergrads enrolled at Auburn last year, nearly 1,000 more than did at the University of Alabama. UAB was third with just under 11,500. Now, before Auburn's current five-year streak, the University of Alabama topped the list. In recent years, however, while Alabama's enrollment has grown considerably, its in-state enrollment has modestly but steadily fallen with the exception of last year when it ticked upward by a couple hundred. Now, back in 2002, 80% of Alabama undergrads were from Alabama. The in-state, out-of-state ratio hit 50-50 by 2014, and in-state students made up 42% of undergrads last year. A judge has used a restraining order to try to shut down some picket line activity by the United Mine Workers of America at Warrior Met Coal in Tuscaloosa County. Reports AL.com's William Thorne. This week, Warrior Met released video of vehicle windows being smashed, it says, as workers attempted to cross the picket line. The company claims that violence along the line has reached a dangerous level. Tuscaloosa County Circuit Judge James H. Roberts Jr. issued a restraining order prohibiting picketing or other activity within 300 yards of 12 locations, mines and offices, owned by Warrior Met. Union President Cecil E. Roberts called parts of the order unconstitutional. Quote, Let me be clear. We remain ready to engage in serious and good faith negotiations to resolve this dispute, but this will not stop our strike. We are far stronger than the mere location of our picket lines. The Alabama Crimson Tide is off this weekend, but Sunday is a key date for head coach Nick Saban. That's when he turns 70 years old. Saban was asked this week about that birthday and his career, and spoiler alert, he did not say when he's going to retire, quote, I don't have a timetable for anything. So it sounds as if riding off into the sunset is not part of the process. Now, in the 1980s, Alabama teachers' retirement system rules would have required Saban to retire once he returned 70. Now, this was way back when 70 was old. Some of y'all might remember that 70 used to be old. And this issue came up when Bear Bryant was about to turn 68. The legislature even passed a law at that time that would have allowed the University of Alabama's Board of Trustees to override the retirement rule and let the Bear coach past 70. Regardless, Saban is in Tuscaloosa indefinitely, and this weekend everybody can stick a candle in a little Debbie oatmeal cream pie for the coach. In Game 2 of the World Series Thursday, Kyle Wright of Huntsville, Alabama made his World Series debut for the Atlanta Braves in their loss to the Houston Astros. Now, Wright did his job. He came on in the 8th, doing a little mop-up duty with the Braves down by 5. He threw 12 pitches to 3 batters and struck out all of them. Wright pitched for Buckhorn High School and Vanderbilt. He'd last pitched October 2nd for Triple A Gwinnett and he hadn't pitched in the show since June 23rd. Now, pardon a little analysis here, but keep an eye on Wright. With Braves ace Charlie Morton out for the series, a couple guys on the staff are going to get more work than they expected to. And barring the door Thursday night, didn't hurt his chances of getting called back in. Y'all have a great weekend. Whatever you're doing, trick-or-treating, heading to the Magic City Classic, or studying up for the rest of the special session on redistricting, Check out al.com slash politics to do that. You might have to scroll around a little. There's no shortage of politics these days. We'll be back here about Monday and would love it if you were here too. Until then, won't y'all come on by and see us on the internet at al.com.